First, we have to import the CA certificate using Microsoft Management Console, or MMC. Second, we have to install the certificate on the server. And third, we have to bind the certificate to the website. It's not that complicated, so let's get started. Part 1 of 3, Importing CA Certificate Using Microsoft Management Console, or MMC. Step 1, click the download button in the pickup wizard to download your certificate files. Clicking the download button will produce a zip file that includes your server certificate, the Entrust chain and intermediate certificates, and the Entrust root certificate. On the server, go to Start, then Run, type MMC, and hit Enter. Click File, then Add Remove Snap-in. Select Certificates and click Add. Select Computer Account, click Next, and click Finish. Now click OK to close the window. Now expand Certificates on the left-hand side of the console window. Now expand the Trusted Root Certification Authorities folder and click on the Certificates subfolder. Now here it's important to check the list of Trusted Root Certificates to see if there is a root labeled Entrust Root Certification Authority G2. If this root is present, delete the root from the list. You will install another root certificate and chain your certificate to that root to provide backwards compatibility with older devices that do not include the newer Entrust SHA-2 root certificate. Now right-click on the certificate subfolder under Trusted Root Certification Authorities and select All Tasks, Import. In the Import Wizard, browse to the root CRT file downloaded in Step 1 and complete the wizard. Now in the MMC console, Expand the Intermediate Certification Authorities folder. Right-click on the Certificate subfolder and select All Tasks, now Import. In the Import Wizard, browse to the Intermediate 1.CRT file downloaded in Step 1 and complete the wizard. Right-click on the Certificate subfolder under Intermediate Certification Authorities and select All Tasks, now Import. In the Import Wizard once again, browse to the Intermediate 2.CRT file downloaded in Step 1, and complete the wizard to complete the Certificate Chain Setup process. You should see your Entrust Intermediate Certificates listed in the Intermediate Certification Authorities folder. Now exit MMC and save your changes. And now you are ready to install your signed server certificate. Let's move on to the next part of the installation process, installing the certificate on the server. Step 1. Launch the server manager. From within the server manager, at the top right corner, select Tools-Internet Information Services IIS Manager. On the left hand side, under Connections, select the workstation name. Once the name is selected, find Server Certificates in the folder on the right side and select that icon. Now on the right column, under Actions, select Complete Certificate Request. On the pop-up window, fill in the information corresponding to the field shown. For File Name Containing the Certification Authority's Response, provide the path to the server certificate downloaded. Note that your certificate file must have a .crt or .cer file extension. When you download your Entrust Data Card SSL TLS certificate, it will be named by default servercertificate.crt. Note that to view a .crt file, you must have selected View All in the drop-down options. For the friendly name, note that this field is not linked to the certificate but is used as an identifier after the certificate is installed. So here, provide a unique friendly name so that you can easily identify what the certificate is used for. 
For Select a Certificate Store for the new certificate, leave the selection set to Personal. Once all of this information is provided, select OK and your certificate is now installed. Let's move to the final part of completing the installation, Part 3 of 3, which is binding the installed certificate to the website it was created to protect. Step 1. On the left-hand side of the IIS Manager, under Connections, expand the server name. Now, expand the Sites folder and select the site to which the certificate should be bound. From the right-hand side, under Actions, select Bindings. In the Site Bindings window, select Add. In the Add Site Binding window, select the type, which will be HTTPS. Under SSL Certificate, select the friendly name of the certificate you wish to bind to the site. You can verify you have selected the correct certificate by clicking on View. Now that you have bound the certificate to the website, you need to restart the website. On the right side under Actions, Manage Website, select Restart. And that's it. Your certificate should now be installed and securing that website. You can make sure the certificate is functioning correctly by using the Entrust SSL Install Checker for which you should find a link in the tech note you are viewing this video or under the video description if you are viewing this video elsewhere.